In this video, I'm going to show you how you can sell digital products on Stan Store. Like all of my other videos, I'm going to walk you through here step by step what you need to do. I'm going to show you how you can get your account set up, then how you can add your payment methods, and then finally how you can add your product and start charging your audience for it. So first you want to go ahead and go to the link in the description that will take you to Stan Store. And from here, you can go ahead and create your account. So scroll down and click on continue. And it will then ask you for a username, your name, your email address, a phone number, and a password. And if you give them all of that information, you can start a free 14 day trial. So I'm going to do that with you now. I'm going to create this and then I'll be back once I'm inside. Okay, so now I've given them that information and I've also added my credit card details. We can now start the free trial. From here, you can choose the niche that you want to enter. I'm going to choose here business coaching because that closely lines with what I sell, which is a course on YouTube search based channels. The course isn't out yet, but that's what I'm going to sell. So we'll click here business coaching and you can then say here, how did you learn about Stan? Now, once you then get to the next step, they're going to ask you for a profile picture. I would just upload this now because you need a profile picture anyway. So click add profile picture and go ahead and find one. I'm going to use this image here and you can go ahead and crop this. However, looks good for you. Now we've done that, we can go to the next step and we can add our social medias. Now you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but it's essentially walking you through creating your store. So the more information you give to Stan Store, the less information you need to enter and connect later. Because remember, if you're selling a digital product, the main reason people will buy from you is because they trust you. And if you have links to all of your social media and they can see a lot of you, it just means that they're more likely to buy from you if they trust you. So go ahead and enter in as much information as you've got here. If you want to skip all of this checklist, you can go to my store and it will take you straight here. From here, you can go to this edit button and you can add the socials that they were trying to get you to add earlier. Now, first you want to go to landing pages and what you can do is you can set up your own landing page for your product. So click create and it's then going to tell you here the types of products you can choose. Most of you though probably have a digital product. So I'm going to click on that. You can then select an image for this digital product and it says the dimensions are 1920 by 1080. To create images for your digital product, I would recommend canva.com. If you sign up for a free account, you can create a design. You can go to custom size and you can type in here 1920 by 1080 and then you can create a new design. From here, you can actually go ahead and use some templates. So if I type in here digital product, we can drag any of these templates and start editing them. So this one looks like a good landing page. I could edit this and upload my own images. I could then go to share in the top right hand corner and download this as a PNG file. And we'll use this as our image to our product. So we'll choose image and we'll upload this from the downloads. So there's your image. Now it's important to obviously make this look professional and you want people to trust what you're selling. So give it a good title and enter in a description here. In this description, I would explain exactly what the person is going to get. You've then got the bottom title, which is going to be the button which people click. You can put buy now or get my guide. I'm going to put here buy now and the call to action button is going to be purchase. Now moving down, we've got the set price. Obviously, you want to change the price to whatever you're selling it for. You can also add a discount if you want to, but for the video, we're just going to leave that. Now, if you want to collect information from your customers, you can do. You can add field here and collect multiple pieces of information. I'm just going to keep it on name and email though. And then finally, step number five, you need to upload your digital product. So go ahead and upload a zip file of your product. Because I don't have a product yet, we'll just upload this thumbnail and just say that is the product. Then once you're happy with that, click publish and it's then going to create that landing page. If you go to edit design, you can edit your design and however that will show. So we'll go with this one for the video and we will save it. Now we need to get our product here on our landing page, which for some reason isn't showing. So we'll go back to landing pages. We'll go click this three dots and we'll move to store. So I was having some trouble getting the digital download to show on our landing page. But what I did is I clicked on it and it was saved as a preview. So we've just published it. Now for the image, I'm going to create a new image for the thumbnail image and the thumbnail image is going to be 400 by 400. You can also just have a button or a preview. We can also remove this image as well. You do have to replace it for something though. But nonetheless, once you publish this, you will now have your digital product. 
Once you've added your image, I would recommend you go to preview and then publish it. And here you can see we've got our digital product and we've got everything set up. Now, the rest of the editing will be done in the edit design section where you can go ahead and change how your digital product will show. You can also change the colors down here, but I'm not going to get into that. Now, once you've got your digital product added, you need to go ahead and add payment methods. So go to settings, then go to payments. And then you need to go ahead and add either Stripe or PayPal. So go ahead and click on Stripe, click add PayPal and connect either one of these. I'm not going to walk you through that, but all you need to do is click on add PayPal, then connect. Then obviously you need to type in your PayPal email and you're done. Now, once you've got all of those connected, you can accept payments and sell your product. And if you copy this URL in the top right, this is the URL you would add to your Instagram bio, or this is the URL you'll put in your YouTube descriptions. And from here, people can see your digital product. They can download it. And that's going to open up here after you've added your payment information. So let me know if that video was helpful. Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.